So we signed our two strikers in the January transfer window. How are they getting on? So our first game post the January transfer window was a home tie against Liverpool and we actually drew 1-1 one, one, one of the very few times we've actually been able to pinch any points from Liverpool. Gorko Calvo, our new striker, equalised in the 67th minute. We then absolutely battered our former club Barnsley 5-1 away from home. Brendan Walker, Gorko Calvo with a brace, Yamel Genov and our other new striker Eddie Le Chavre finally got his first goal for the club. Next up was a very, very impressive 2-1 away win against Tottenham Hotspur. They were top of the league at the time of playing, so this was an absolutely huge result. Nakamoto and Le Chavria scored two goals inside 10 minutes. They did get one goal back in the 25th minute, but they couldn't make their dominance count. Next up was a 5-2 thrashing of Middlesbrough at home. Eddie Le Chavria getting himself a hat-trick and own goal, and Yamel Genov with the other. A little bit defensively shaky, but we'll take the win. And finally was a 1-0 home defeat against Chelsea in the FA Cup fifth round. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We currently sit fourth, one point behind Arsenal in third, two points ahead of Manchester City in fifth, 10 games to go. We could potentially get 84 points if we win all 10. Obviously, that's highly unlikely to happen. Uh, Leeds United, I believe, got 78 points. So we can afford two defeats, but we need eight wins. <laughs> it's a big ask. So in terms of the new tactic and the new structure to fit in these two new strikers, this is what we're currently playing. It is a variation of a 4-4-2. We're still keeping that defensive midfield, deep lying playmaker in play. Karimi is our uh, obvious choice. He is not really that comfortable playing in the central of midfield. I did try that. Um, so we are going to stick with the defensive midfielder that we've been persistent with. We have dropped the wingers back. Gives us a little bit more defensive stability. and But we're still playing a very, very attacking tactic whilst looking quite a bit more defensively in the formation. So today's opponents are Norwich City away from home who currently sit in 17th and Watford at home who currently sit in 15th. We need six points from this. There's no ifs or buts about it. If we want to try and, try and beat Leeds United or at least try and get close to Birmingham City and Huddersfield, these are the sort of games we've got to be winning. So in terms of the two strikers, then Eddie Le Chavria has five goals in eight games. He had a bit of a quiet start, but he's definitely coming into it more and more after we changed his role to a complete forward. Gorka Calvo's got three goals and one assist in five games. Obviously, he's still very, very fresh to the club and uh, we'll start to see more from him, hopefully, over the course of the rest of this season. In terms of today's lineup, then this will be the first 11 for the first game against Norwich. Magyar, of course, will be in goal, an absolutely phenomenal goalkeeper who's done brilliant stuff for us throughout this season. Opara, of course, our new sign and will be starting out right back. David Ballas and Brendan Watt will be our centre backs. Fukushima is currently injured for 12 days, so he will miss both games. Lucas Pinter starting out left back. Uh, Karimi, Marco Antonio, Nakamoto, and Yemeljanov playing in the midfield. Yemeljanov is not quite comfortable playing at the left-hand side of the midfield. He's much more naturally a left winger, but we do have him training in that role. So hopefully by the end of the season, he will be natural there. Gorka Calvo and Eddie Le Chavre, of course, will be playing as our two strikers. Uh, in terms of player roles, it's not definite. Le Chavre is definitely starting to get better in terms of his complete forward attacking role rather than advanced forward. Uh, in terms of Gorka Calvo, I've been toying with the idea of maybe a deep lying forward or even a false nine. Uh, but... For at least for now, we'll keep with the double complete forward and we'll see if, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We have been scoring plenty of goals uh, recently. It's more defensively while we're struggling. And uh, if we were to spend one more season at Nottingham Forest, it would be the major area we would have to improve. First highlight of the game comes five minutes in. Mark what Antonio pinches the ball, but he can't find one of our strikers. Norwich play it well to this left-hand side. Luis Enrique gets dispossessed. By our new right back Opara and Antonio can bring it down this right hand side. I thought he was going to run it out of play there. That would have been pretty surprising for him. He's been fantastic for us. He does find the ball again from Karimi, plays it in, and Le Chavre. I mean, he should be putting that in the back of the net, right? Gorka Calvo picks up the ball on the right hand side, plays in Antonio. It's cleared by Norwich City, and it could be a pretty devastating break. Great player by Henley to find Chris on the right hand side. Magyar with a very, very big save that. Has put me on tender, <laughs> put me on the edge. So we'll go back from attacking to positive. Um, look to avoid that sort of counter-attacking opportunity as much as we possibly can. The highlight is continuing from that Norwich City chance. Uh, this might all lead to nothing, but we will stick with it. Coming down the left-hand side, we do miss out. And Adelson picks it up in the centre for Norwich City and finds Luis Enrique on this left-hand side. Drives past the defender and goes for goal. 
and Magyar with an easy save. Not the best performance by us so far. We will drop even more in our team mentality to a more balanced one. Um, Norwich City are playing on the counter, so we need to be very, very wary of that. We should have the better... We've got the better first 11, hands down. Um, it's just whether we can make that count as Le Chavrier beats the defender, gets into the box. And again, another good opportunity for him, squandered. Throw in deep in Norwich City's half on this right-hand side. Mark Antonio on the box, whips it in. Yemeljanov is there. And Sergei Yemeljanov gets his sixth goal of this season to put us 1-0 up 30 minutes in. Our wingers combining Antonio and Yemeljanov. And we finally able to break Norwich City down. It's our first proper opportunity. I mean, uh, Le Chavre has missed a good couple of half chances maybe. But that was definitely a clear cut. And Yamaljanova makes no mistakes. About nine minutes to go in this first half. I would take a 1-0. But ideally, it would be 2-0. Le Chavre driving through the defence. Finds Marco Antonio. He's got the overlap on the right-hand side. Uh, we don't manage to find it. Norwich City deal with the problem. Lucas Pinter picks up the ball on the left. Drives it down, finds Nakamoto, back to Pinter. He whips it in, and it's easily claimed. Big kick up by Victor Hugo, finds Hentley. Oh, another good opportunity for Norwich City. Magyar is having a very, very good game to keep us. Uh, haven't conceded. Adilson with the corner will stick with this. He plays in Leango's back post. Magyar again, keeping their uh, hold of it this time as well. Five minutes to go before the end of the first half. Yamelginov on this left-hand side has Lucas Pinter overlapping. Come on, Pinter. Decent cross. Marco Antonio was there. Oh, I thought it was a great save. It wasn't in the end. Marco Antonio gets his eighth goal of the season. Our wing backs and winger combining this time. And Victor Hugo does look like he gets a hand to it. Just can't quite keep it out. Lucas Pinter with a fantastic cross to the back post. Antonio takes advantage. And maybe the keeper should have probably saved that one. And there we have it. Norwich City nil. Nottingham Forest 2. Everything is going to plan right now. Let's kick off for the second half and see if it can continue. Seven minutes in at the second half, we have ourselves our first highlight. Nakamoto driving forward goes all the way back to Karimi. Calvo tries to find Antonio. It was a poor pass in the end, but thankfully Norwich City aren't defending pretty well. Pinter to Antonio again, almost resulting in the third goal. I think we are really starting to turn the screw with Norwich City right now. They're not getting much of the ball. Every highlight has been for us so far. And uh, Lucas Pinter picks up the left-hand side. Yemeljanov in the box to Le Chavrier. Come on. Someone take the strike. Nakamoto was there to take the strike. And our central midfielder gets his 11th goal of the season. An assist by Eddie Le Chavrier. And we go 3-0 up with only 35 minutes remaining. And doing absolutely fantastically. Now, this is an expected result. Um, this isn't a surprise. Norwich City aren't the best side in this league. But away from home, three points is three points. We have ourselves another highlight. 58 minutes in. Nakamoto picking up the ball in the centre to Eddie Le Chavre, who goes for goal. Bit of a bit of a cheat year for that. Uh, I don't think the keeper was expecting it, but he does save it quite comfortably. The highlight continues with the Le, Le Chavre coming down the left-hand side. Gorka Calvo gets his head on it. And again, that was very, very close. We have just picked up a knock. Marco Antonio, our right-sided player, will bring on... <laughs> will move our right-back of power to the right-hand side of midfield. And we'll bring on Armando Harewood to uh, the right-back spot. Highlight now. It's a counter-attack opportunity again for Norwich City. They go wide with Luis Enrique. We will look to make some subs here. Jamie Coyle I would like to bring on. Uh, Eddie Le Chavre is going to be the man who makes way. Got a Calvo despite not being involved is playing fantastically well. Uh, Christian Morganson for Nakamoto. I mean, it's a change we're going to make despite Nakamoto playing well. Uh, I want to give Christian Morganson enough game time that he won't kick up a fuss. 19 minutes left on the clock. We are attacking down this left-hand side. Karimi finds Yemeljanov, who gets past his man. Whips it in. Oh, it's clear. Jamie Coyle goes close, just over the bar. Four minutes to go. Yemeljanov with a free kick. Morganson was back post. He hits the woodwork. Norwich City do get a clear. Norwich City with the corner. Dragomir plays it in. Walker manages to get a clear. But Adilson goes for goal. He hits the bar. Servian's there in the box. We do get the block in. It was offside. That would have been a fantastic, fantastic goal by Adilson. And there we have it then, full time, Norwich City 3, Nottingham Forest 0. I'm very, very pleased with how we, we performed in that game. Uh, the first half was a little bit dodgy, but we managed to tear control eventually after changing our team mentality and uh, happy enough with the three points away from home. We will move on. We've got Middlesbrough next. At Middlesbrough. Who have we got next? Watford next. I don't know why Middlesbrough came into my head. At home, they are currently sitting in 16th. I want a similar sort of performance from the lads. 
So Fukushima didn't manage to get himself fit for this game. So the starting 11 remains exactly the same as it was in the last game. And of course, we're up against our familiar four, Adam Ida, who scores against us every time. Put your tenders on him to get the first goal. <laughs> First highlight of the game comes 13 minutes in. It's us on the attack down the right-hand side. Walker is the man who whips it in. And Watford are definitely going to counter from this Simisi. Drives forward to the centre midfield. Nakamoto pinches it and drives past the defence. He's in behind. Great save by the goalkeeper to deny Nakamoto. Stick with the corner. You never know. Mark Antonio whips it in. Uh, it's cleared. Another highlight now. Nakamoto gets uh, his pocket pinched. And Adamida is in behind. I hope you put your tenor on, because you've just won yourself some money. Congratulations, Adam Ida's nine, he's only scored nine goals this season. I'm sure about three of them are against us. And uh, we find ourselves going 1-0 down. Bit of sloppy play by Nakamoto in the centre of midfield, losing the ball. And it's an easy enough counter-attack for Watford. 21 minutes in, hopefully the boys can bounce straight back. Gorka Calvo finds Karimi, who finds Marco Antonio, who drives in. And there it is. He's ninth goal of the season. We level things up shortly after going 1-0 down. And uh, <laughs> I'm thankful for that. So I was anticipating Watford maybe sitting back, just defending the 1-0 lead. Thankfully they didn't, and we were able to take full advantage of Marco Antonio, level things up. 25 minutes gone now. Watford are on the attack down the left-hand side. Can we win this ball and maybe counter ourselves? David Ballas tries to get rid. Grant goes for goal. And LeFord Grant, with an absolutely stunning strike, gets his second goal of the season and puts Watford 2-1 up. Magyar... Maybe doesn't cover himself in all that glory, but it was a very, very powerful strike. We'll see it again here. Is it? Oh, I mean, Magyar, he should save that. Corner for us. Yemeljanov is the man to take it. It's clear to Nakamoto on the edge of the area. He finds Goto Calvo on the left-hand side, who goes all the way back to Lucas Pinter. So we rebuild from the halfway line. Apara to Marco Antonio on the right-hand side. He beats his man, goes for goal. It's a good save by Clayton. Antonio with the corner again. Anything happening? Cleared Karimi. Back out to Antonio on this left-hand side. He was offside. One and a half minutes to go in this first half. Watford are on the attack. Lucas Pinter cuts out the long ball. Magyar deals with that coolly, calmly, and uh, with some composure. I was a little bit worried there. I'd lost my composure. Thankfully, we d dealt with it. But Watford do come forward again through the centre of the park. We're closing them down pretty well and limiting their passing opportunities. And there's Marco Antonio again being an absolute superstar on that right-hand side. Don't go for goal. Oh, man. Eddie Le Chavre was there with an open goal if he managed to find him. We find ourselves going in 2-1 down then. A massive, massive second half required. So the second half's come in and we are not playing well at all. Who are we bringing on? Christian Morganson for Nakamoto in the centre of the park. Jamie Coyle will want to bring on. We'll bring him on for Gorka Calvo this time. Um, he is currently on a yellow card and we don't want him getting himself sent off. And is that a penalty before the uh, substitutes happen? I might end up cancelling the substitutes here. Eddie Le Chavre is the man who's going to step up to take the penalty. Please bury this. And he does. Thank God for that. We're going off attacking. Uh, we're going down to positive. I wanted to get ourselves level before making that change. Watford, most of their goals are coming after our attacking fears. So uh, at least a lot of their opportunities are. So just downplaying our team mentality will hopefully let us control this game a little bit better. And saying that one point isn't enough and with the final 10 minutes to go, we're going back to attack and Yemeljanov with the free kick. It's played in the Chavre. That was a difficult header. He was unlikely to get that on target. We'll go very attacking for the last few minutes. One point is not really all we are looking for and time is ticking away and the second half was absolutely dire. Nottingham Forest 2, Watford 2. Massively disappointing result. So at the end of them two games, we still remain fourth place in the table. What Manchester City have closed the gap on us though. They are level on points with us in fifth. We are still one point behind Arsenal in third, but they have a game in hand. And with eight games remaining, there's a potential for 82 points. I think Leeds United's a bit out of our reach. Maybe Birmingham City isn't though. Maybe Huddersfield isn't. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how the run in goes. I will bring you a final episode of the season. It might end up being a long one. It might be a short one. It all depends how our results go over the next three or four games or so. So anyway, lads, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.